Hey gang, welcome back to Big Board. I'm going to do a quick look at Heroes of the Nam, which is a combination reprint of uh, Anzac Attacks and Forgotten Heroes, uh, a lock and load game from Lock and Load Publishing, so tactical system. New artwork for the boxes. There you go. Very nice. Around, a little certificate of authenticity to let you know that you were uh, an early orderer, etc. etc. Fantastic new modern era rule book, 1960s to the present. So they've split up the it's it's uh, basically 1960 and earlier. Sorry, I guess up to 1959 <laughs> from World War II upwards and then 60 onwards uh, for all the modern combat. Aircraft, helicopters, and all that sort of fun, good stuff. I've shown you the rule book in the past in a previous videos, and the quality of everything that's in here is really just top notch. The reason why this is a massively long rule book, clocking in with examples in the 70 page range, is due to the large font two column format and very substantial revisions and very substantial examples that take up you know almost a whole page here and there so don't be daunted by the volume of the rules it's a really dead simple straightforward game it's not hard and I've played it many many times and enjoyed it uh, enormously so great to see 4.1 rules out lots of handy charts in the game we'll come back to the scenarios in a second let's have a look at these charts because I think you'll be Impressed. There's obviously a turn track, which is nice. Uh, you've got so there's a DR, there's a vehicle size uh, adjustment that occurs in some of the advanced rules you can use, speed modifiers and stuff like that, which is nice to have that there. Handy dandy summary chart on how to conduct small arms fire versus infantry versus vehicles and helicopters and arty and all that sort of good stuff. Ordnance. Ordnance versus armor, ordnance versus infantry, yada yada yada. Sequence of play here, how to do direct combat, how to do spotting, close assaulting vehicles, how to reduce your units. That's the game right there. That's all you need. You can play 99% of the game right there. Bang, done. Thanks for, thanks for that. The big maps, the X maps, they're here. Uh, I've actually, I actually saw these a little while ago, and you know, just by for comparison's sake, here's your standard map. This is probably the same size as an ASL map, and there's the same map blown up. It's a pretty significant difference, right? Very, very cool. Uh, they do, you know, because they're they're fold like this, they do get a little bit bulgy. I will say that. Now, terrain effects chart. Everything uh, nicely laid out. All done in some reasonable sort of order. In fact, you know, they, they haven't done the, uh, <laughs> they still haven't done the terrain in alphabetical order, which I think is pretty funny. But anyway, that's lock and load. Then on the back, you've got all the other charts you need, the direct fire chart, the uh, DRMs for uh, direct fire, the DRMs for ordnance fire here, everything laid out in nice format. Here we have, the, instead of providing little cards, you've got a chip that goes on for special skills that goes on to leaders or heroes or, or gunners or whatever it may be. And then an explanation of all those right here on this fold-out chart. Very nicely done, like that. That's another chart. Now, here, what is this guy? Rules reference chart. So... If this isn't enough for you, this little thing here, if you feel like you're getting lost, here's how you use your chaplains, and here's your army uh, and marines, and here's your Anzac forces, and your helicopters, and how they work, and there's what to roll and how to roll it for all the stacking limits, and initiative checks, and assaults, and direct fires, and malaise, and off-board artillery, and you name it, it is all freaking there, people. It's all awesome. You get two baggies. You get information counters and count them four counter sheets. And these are the Easy Pop uh, 
format, so they just pop in and out really simply. I did check these prior to starting the video and they all uh, set really nicely. I think I noticed one section just here, just, and this is, uh, might just be my copy, but there's a, you know, the, oops, you know, the top here is just coming over, just coming over the edge a little bit, so you're missing just a little bit, but it's just that one section there. Everything else is perfect on these. So really nice, nice work. So you've got the Anzac counters, and you've got uh, the, you know, the Marines and the Viet Cong and, and uh, the, the Vietnamese armies. Now, the, the only thing I would say is that given this is the... I forget what edition we're up to now. We had two reprints of Forgotten Heroes. So there's three editions of that game. And we have uh, a second printing of Anzac Attack, which I think... I forget when that came out. I think that came out uh, a little bit earlier on. But I would, I really would have liked to have seen these 40 counters, which is really three counter types maybe, and one, two, three, four leaders, a medic and a sniper. I really would have liked to have seen the artwork redone in into the standard format. That's kind of a, a little bit of a letdown there. But overall, smashing job. Uh, I mean, I love this uh, Vietnam era combat. It's very, very cool. Uh, the scenarios just sing to you. They are really cool. There's also great scenarios in the Line of Fire magazines that you should check out. There's one, I think, in particular that has many of the, that has several scenarios that you should take a, take a look at. Okay, here we go. Scenarios are all in a booklet that is printed on nice full color paper and you've got the maps laid out for you with north printed on them so you know which way is up. Uh, there's a little bit of filler paging here to kind of separate each scenario. There's all sorts of special instructions and they just look awesome. The layout of these things is great. It's all nice big fonts for the old guys and their weak eyes. Just tons of scenarios in here. Let me tell you how many there are real quickly. Too many to count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, maybe thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight scenarios just in here. They actually did remember to put the chaplains and the advisors in. Congratulations, guys. Oh, and there's even nurses now. Now nurses are new. How about that? I've never seen that before. Well done, breakdowns, etc. So look, fantastic job again. Lock and Load has really stepped up their game when it comes to making it right here. Uh, I know we're all worried about it, that they weren't gonna make it, but it looks like they're getting there. And uh, another excellent production, and I hope that uh, you guys will enjoy it as much as I'm going to. Talk to you soon.